Hi and welcome back to the studio vlog. Today I'm going to try my under glazes. I'm very excited. So if you watched a previous vlog where I did all the test tiles for those under glazes, that's where I'm going to paint them now. And I'm also going to make some uh, bowls because I want to test a new tool that I got. Wait a second, I'm going to get it. This new tool that I got called a metal atomizer. It's basically to spray my iron glazes. So basically you have a little reservoir and this little contraption to make an atomizer out of it. So basically you blow your glaze uh, on or your iron glaze onto your pot. It's way cheaper than buying uh, an air spray or air compressor and I want to use it as a base color for the magical garden <laughs> mug I'm making. So that's why I'm making bowls first because well, I don't want to taste it, test it on my uh, super <laughs> hard to make cup <laughs> that I spent hours making. So I'm going to make a bunch of bowls so I can try this uh, thing on. So let's get started. Since this is a studio vlog, I'm going to show you the reality <laughs> of things is that I also need to recycle my clay. I want to make three different bowls. A small, medium and a big size. 400, I guess, 450. So it's not too small. I can still want to be able to use it. I know one round doesn't change anything, but I just like to see a round number, you know? <laughs> is that me? Is that weird? So 450 for the first bowl. 550? 550 sounds good. Yeah, I can do 100 grams more for each. What do you say? 450, 550, 650. Yesterday I threw three bowls. I'm gonna show them. Here they are. These are the test tiles for the under glazes that I made last time. The task today is gonna be to trim those bowls and then hopefully I have time to paint the under glaze and try this new, you know, my new device. This little atomizer thing um, to spray the color on it.
very scared to use this thing. So since I'm scared, uh, I'm just gonna take a lunch break. Do you also have more courage once your belly's full? I do. I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. They say you have to sieve your glaze, like really mix it and sieve your glaze, your underglaze. Actually, maybe they were using glazes and not underglazes, but we'll do it anyways. I need a little bit, I guess. So exciting. I don't want to, to lose a single drop of this thing. It's so expensive. Ceramic stuff is so expensive. I wonder if there's a minimum of underglaze I need in this thing for this to work. So I got a lot of problem with this uh, atomizer thing. The thing is I couldn't get the underglaze to spray or to get out properly. I don't know if there was not enough underglaze in the little reservoir or if the angle was not correct. But oh boy, I was out of breath. I had a huge headache and it was really unpleasant to use. So yeah, my guess is that I did something wrong, probably. So I tried it again with more underglaze um, in the reservoir. I tried different angles, it got a bit better. And every now and then I would unstuck uh, the little pipe that was getting stuck with underglaze in it. Maybe I didn't sieve it properly. And then, well, I thought for my project, it's not gonna work out with this. So whether I'm gonna have to buy a proper hairspray with an air compressor, or I'm gonna have to try another technique. So on the two next bowls, I tried another technique where I just brushed the underglaze on the bowls uh, directly. And then I added just a little line of sprayed and glaze on those bowls. So here is the result of my very hard work. Just the atomizer, then here we have two brush strokes, one brush stroke in the atomizer, and the, here we have just uh, one brush stroke in the atomizer. I've written it all down in my notebook, of course, because with ceramic you can forget very easily. You're doing a million different tests and on a million different things. So my advice, if you're doing it, write everything down, which I just did. And now you can do some relaxing tile painting. Like it, subscribe or comment or share it with a friend.